Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is string? The join string array node. Now let's run this quick little example here. Basically, we get back dog, cat, mouse, and turkey, each of them separated by a space. So if we were to go ahead and check out this node, this is what we're going to find. If we do join string array, we'll find under utility string, and by default it's going to come in like this. Now do note that the separator actually is filled in with a space. If we zoom in close enough and we select, we can actually see a space is there by default. So that is important to note. So what does a join string array do? Basically, if I can stop doing that, there we go. Basically, it takes in an array of strings, takes in a separator to separate them, and then outputs one string itself. So for our example, our string array is composed of dog, cat, mouse, and turkey. And again, by default, we have a blank separator. So when we run this, we get dog space, cat space, mouse space, and turkey. If we want to change our separator, we can just type in something else like, well, let's go with space and space. And we'll hit play. And now we get dog and cat and mouse and turkey. So that is it. That is all there is for a join string array. It's useful if you have a few arrays and you want to put them together in a format. You want to make it cleaner. Like for example, I just took a bunch of animals and combined them into a more of a sentence than anything else. Or if you want to have something displayed in a format, maybe you could use dashes. And if you hit play this time, you now see dog, cat, mouse, turkey. And if maybe these were things like pieces of armor or items or numbers and you want to keep them separated such as a combination to a lock then you could use the join string array to make it easy to be visible if you have any questions or comments please feel free to leave them below